Yeah. The wait is finally over. Normani has finally dropped her first full album. Let's go. Dopamine has hit Spotify and I'm ready to listen to it. So grab some popcorn, grab a glass of wine, a joint, uh, whatever, some water, whatever it may be. Let's have some fun. Let's listen to what Normani's got to say. I know it's been a long time coming. I've been a big fan of hers for a while now. I've known her since her X Factor days. I actually watched that show. I saw her come onto the stage for the first time. I was like, wow, that's a star right there. She's got it all. They put her into the group Fifth Harmony. We, we saw them make magic and have a very successful career, but we know that they weren't allowed to be individuals. So now we're starting to see all of them kind of disperse and do their own thing. But this is the one that I've been the most excited for, and that's Normani. I always felt like she was the most talented, She's gorgeous. She has everything that you could possibly want out of a superstar. So I'm excited for this. I hope we get some visuals as well for the album, but I'm gonna be going through the lyrics through uh, genius.com. So I don't know, their lyrics are always a little bit sketchy here and there. So I guess I'll have to trust them. But um, yeah, I'm super excited for this. Let's jump into it. The first track on the album is Big Boy. Featuring Stara. Okay. Produced by TV Hits. Sound like Sway Lee. Hey. Alright, so this is already sounding very different. I'm loving it. Uh I didn't I didn't expect this. I thought she was gonna come out like singing, singing. She's she's a little bit rapping here. Let's go. Hey. I love it. Yeah, it is. Come on, I'm loving the beat. This is just, it's fire to come out with the, this hard beat that's, that's getting us moving already from the get-go. It's that we got some good vibes. But also, I've never heard of Star before. Whoever they are, they sound a little bit like Sway Lee for some reason to me. I'm like, that is that not Sway Lee? <laughs> Just hollering a little bit for the first track. I like it. I like it. The first track, that was fun. I feel like she came out hollering a little bit, which, you know, 
I don't mind that one bit. I think uh, with your, first, your your debut album, why not? You just came off of a big ass group that was killing it internationally. Why not come out and just be like, "Hey, this is me now. This is this is this is what I am," and uh, kind of just holler a little bit. I like it. The next song up is still. So TV hits is producing this one as well. Let's go, Mike Jones. Hold up, really? She's Houston Rays, Noah Bourne. That sounds. Isn't Beyonce has kind of a lineage like that? Like her mom is Creole, her daddy is also from Louisiana, right? But she was raised in Houston. That's kind of cool. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I can see a visual to this for sure. Love the sample. Let's go. I can see this visual for sure. I don't know if it's like a strip club or maybe it's like a, a party, a barbecue kind of thing, but and maybe everything all together. I see the drinks flowing in slow motion and all of that. She's gonna serve us some some visuals. I just know it. She's she's uh she's definitely got that creative mindset to her, and I know her team is itching to get some of that out. <laughs> I be saucing it all out, dressing a Christian Dior, I'm a blessing. Too busy living my life, I ain't even see your message. I'm with the smoke black O's, bitch, you can have my exes. Yeah. Still, sexy, still, extra. It's so clean, I love it. Good production, man. Outro. Just bounce. Ooh. A little chopped and screwed for the Houston natives. I love it. Okay. I love the little ode to Houston there with some of that chopped and screw, which we know that Houston is very well known for. Pioneers of it, if you could, you could say. But uh, okay. So far, I'm really digging this. I did not expect it to be like she's singing, but she's rapping. You know, it's like the little mixture of that there. I, the only person I can think of right now that's really doing it like that is uh, Doja Cat, where she's singing and rapping at the same time a lot of the times. Um, I'm, maybe I'm, I mean, obviously Beyonce can, does everything as well, so this is cool. This is cool. I'm loving this. I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. I'm loving what I'm seeing. So track number three, let's go. This is All Yours. Hey. This one's produced by a business boy. <laughs> There's something about you I'm liking. Bit too much is a bit frightening. Got a bit of bite here like Python. Got a bit of bite here like Tyson. I'm a face, I am like Tyson. Never plan to be in like I'm in. How you could put the cherry on this cake and make it icing. That's all my spread. Yeah. Oh, 
Normani. Okay, you little minx. This kitty got that Midas touch. You turn gold in it. Okay, we know what you're talking about there. Talking about let's go in twice. Flip it, go flip it. Okay, so she's talking a little bit more about her sexuality here. Let's go. Skin sexy. <laughs> Different. Interesting. <laughs> that was okay. Okay, so yeah, this song, I feel like this is going to be really hard for her to perform live, especially the mm mm, -mm ass. <laughs> That's going to be tough to do a live performance for. Um, it's uh, this, 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 is, this is good. It's a little sexy. It's a little repetitive, but I don't know. Let's see where she's going. But all up in it till your knees go weak. Come on. More clean production. Dig the beat. Sing it, girl. Come on. Okay, I wanted to hear some singing from her, like actual, so she was really getting into it there. I have a feeling this song's gonna be one of those growers. You listen to it a few more times and it's like, okay, I see where she was going with the mm, ah, uh, mm, ahs. But, because right now it's a little distracting, I feel like it's a little bit, I don't know, it's different. So, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a grower, but let's keep listening to it and see how it finishes. I like hearing her sing, hit those notes though. Okay, so yeah, I think that's definitely going to be a grower. I think it's going to take some time to get used to it, or maybe maybe it won't. Not every song is going to be you know, a top 10 hit or whatever. This is also her first album, so she's experimenting with stuff. She's trying to um, find her individual sound, but I thought that mm, my, my eyes were a little distracting from the rest of the song, but hey, it was sexy. The production was clean. I really enjoyed that part of it. Um, I think it might be a grower though, because I felt like I was getting used to the my, 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 my eyes at the end there. But what I really did like was like we got to hear her in that bridge just really show some of her vocal performance there, and that I like that. I want to hear her sing. I want to hear Normani sing again. Let's go. Okay, next track, Lights On. So TV Hit seems to be producing a lot of these. Don't even address me unless you're gonna dress me. Try to see what I do, cause I 
Hey, hey. If you make it look sexy. Make that shit sexy. I just got one house rule. Let me put in my request, please. Tonight I want you to love me with the lights on. Hey. Are you a lights on or lights off kind of person? Leave it leave the uh, your answer in the comments. <laughs> Lights on for me, but I like to set the mood a little bit too. We can dim them a little bit, get that mood right. Hit, set the ambiance. Ooh, you're crazy. Make you come fast like a 98 sports car. Blink twice, it's already going to be over. She has been hollering on this album, and I appreciate it. It's sexy. It's gonna be over. When I ride you, something like a jet ski. I finish just by looking at me. Bumpy. <laughs> you know everything I do, I'm going to make it look sexy. Yeah. Yes! You're fucking with the star with a mean face card. That is so true. Normani's got that Platinum Express, that black card, whatever she is like. She's got unlimited credit. That girl is extremely gorgeous. This is, she's, this is R&B though. I'm enjoying this a lot. This is R&B. This is what I love. I love the slow, the sexiness. It's so good and her voice is rich. The production's great. So vivid. Oh yeah, I'm sure you can. <laughs> We've seen your videos. See the whining and grinding. God, okay, I feel like we walked into a room we shouldn't be in, right? <laughs> Normani, wow, very visual, very vivid imagery to this song, obviously, very sexy, hot. Uh, I mean, she's hitting the mark, R&B, you want that love making music, and to hear her, like, out of breath, and kind of, you know, in the, in the act is what it sounds like, is... I'm, my temperature's going up. <laughs> wow. That's a good song. Lights on. Okay. Okay. Next song, baby. Let's go. Let's keep moving. Next song is Take My Time. Different producer, Anton Gorenson. How my emotions die racing. Every time that you I love hearing that part of her voice. I get this feeling I keep chasing. Yeah, I love that. We're almost there. Stop thinking. Wonder what's keeping you from not seeing. You got me 
Beats by the drop, come on. Here it comes. Let's go. That that beat is funky. It's got a little bit of dirt in it. Come on. Although your ways have got me feeling fine. None of it matters if you don't come in. Yeah. See what I've been hiding just for you and I. Yeah. I was waiting for a song like this from her. I I knew that we would get some something to really dance to, cause she is that girl on the dance floor. Let's go. Yeah. It's not the deepest lyrics, and that's fine. It's fun though. That one was fun. That is right up my alley. I love those kind of songs. I love that kind of beat drop. Great, great, great production. I think of someone Gorenson. They did their thing on it. Wow, I love just being able to dance like that. I've said a million times, who cares if you can't dance that well? Just get up and move. It feels good. You get that dopamine rush. Like That's what this album is titled. That's what we should be feeling a little bit. And I definitely felt it on that one. All right, next track is called Insomnia. Let's go. Produced by Stargate and TB Hits. Who is TB Hits? I'm gonna look this person up. I thought that I've been going crazy, but I'm doing better lately. Ooh. I finally stopped the tears from running. I know that's gotta count for something But when you decide to hit me I reminisce on all the history And if it ain't because of the whiskey I wonder if you really miss me Oh, you got some device That tells you when I'm fine Cause it's the very moment that you hit my line I wonder oh. how you know That I've been moving on Cause it seems like you really love to make that shit Impossible if that ain't relevant, if that ain't real, every time you feel like like someone that you run in, 
every once in a while you're gonna run into these bad actors right these people that they they take advantage of you they don't really appreciate your feelings they don't they use you they move on and then the moment they feel like there's this time where oh now now they miss you now their selfish ass is gonna come back around you're always in a better place and now it's just like ah uh, then you start having this internal battle with yourself like should I should I not because I did enjoy their company but also I remember what they did to me you almost have to just like respect yourself try to try to weigh the options weigh your emotions and see where you're at in that time but man it is tough and that's relevant and uh, it resonates we all go through it i feel like i feel like you have to have your armor pierced a few times to kind of see what's going to happen here oh shit we're about to get brandy on this I wish you didn't call me. no way so much it reminds me of. the legend brandy Yeah, insomnia sucks. I've been dealing with insomnia myself. It's rough. You need to sleep. Getting better at it though. You only want me when convenient. I know that I could probably block you, but for some reason I wanna see you. Oh man, again, like this it feels like and you all have to I know I know a lot of you relate to this too. Like what she said, turn into an inconvenience, you only want me when convenient. So again, we're dealing with a selfish person. I know that I could probably block you, but for some reason I want to see you. And that's our brain. Our brain is just like so complicated that like we know. We know we can end this misery by just blocking somebody or just kind of pushing them out of our life and then doing that, but you almost there's almost that subconscious in your brain that's like, but I want to hear what they want what they gotta say. I want to see if maybe they've changed. I want to see if they're not gonna take me for granted this time. There's a lot that goes on. There's a lot of nuances, but man, it's very relevant. It, it resonates. Sing it, baby. Come on. Feel it. Come on. Love her voice on this. I love that we're hearing that sweet side of her voice. We're hearing that vulnerability. And also I love, she has one of those voices where it whispers a little bit on, on the outro of some words. And I love that. It sounds very angelic, very sweet and soft. I, I, pre I appreciate that. That's that's a, that's a great tone. One, one of my favorite tones, I love that. Like Billie Eilish is another one that's known to do that. I kind of wish I heard a little bit more of Brandy. She's kind of just on the background, but. Let's go, guitar solo. That guitar solo really makes you feel that emotion. That, that crying. Okay, that was a real vulnerable track. I felt like we really got to 
hear the softer side of her and that um, it really resonated. I think I think a lot of you, including myself, are really gonna just kind of kind of latch onto that and feel that. I, pretty much everyone's gone through this feeling. Even even if you are that person that gives that person insomnia, I'm sure you've been on the other side of that. And and it's just. It's part of the human nature. It's part of what happens when you're trying to date, when you're trying to, you know, put yourself out there. It's going to happen most of the time, more than likely, unless if you avoid it, then congratulations to you. You won because it's tough. Um, but I think it builds us. I think it builds character. I think it makes us better people at the end of the day. Um, it's, it's, it's a really good song, though. I enjoyed that and loved hearing Brandy on there, even if she had a small part. Just to hear the legend Brandy on there is dope, so very cool. All right, next song is Candy Paint. I think she released this one earlier, but I, I haven't listened to it because I wanted to like save it for the album. So here's Candy Paint. I thought someone said that she was going to drop a video for this as well. <laughs> Bankrupt coming, baby, you know how I'm coming. coming. Booty on Bubonic, can I move it how I want it? Want it. Big girl shit, baby, I don't do no running. Hey. You can make it boom, boom, clap like I'm drumming. Hey. Shake it, make it tick, 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 brum, pump it. Shake it, make it tick, 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 brum, pump, pump it. All right, yeah, I need a music video for this. I need to see that thing, tick, 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 brum, bumping. Say, I could turn nothing into something. Pop it, make it tick, 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 brum, bum, 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 I can make your nigga hit the race if I want it. Hey. Baby, I could take your place if I want it. I, I bet. Could hit the bank and spin his cake if I want it. Told me I could put the diamonds on the face if I want it. If you let me take him, you might never get him back. I'm a baddie and I don't know how to act. Booty candy painted with the diamond in the bag. Hey. It's too bad you nigga don't know how to act. When I'm finished, baby, you got them back. Hey. He used the average, don't know what bad is. I'll show you that. I took my wrist, they peed it up. I took my neck and freezed it up. I took my whip to speed it up. I need a nigga to beat it up. Let's go. That transition there was dope. Don't know how to act <laughs> into the verse, into the second verse. That was dope. She's hollering again. She's hollering, talking about, you know, what she's earned in her life, how, how she's got it. And then uh, talking about needing your man to beat it up or someone to beat it up while I'm, you know, <laughs> doing her thing. Let's go. I love it. Hey. Baby, I could take your place if I want it. Yeah. I the bank and spend his cake if I want it. Told me I could put the diamonds on the face if I want it. Come on. Let me take him, you might never get him back. I'm a baddie and I don't know how to act. Booty candy painted with the diamond in the bag. It's too bad you nigga don't know how to act. When I'm finished, baby, you got them back. Mm-hmm, baby, you got them back. Booty candy painted with the diamond in the bag. It's too bad you nigga don't know how to act. Tell me, booty candy painted with the diamond in the back. What does that mean? Because I'm just picturing her ass candy painted. I know candy paint you put on cars. You see that a lot in Houston. What's the diamond in the back mean? It, maybe she's just talking about a car, like the, the booty, the, the back of the car is the booty, and maybe a diamond means something back there. I, I guess I don't know enough about the candy paint world like that, but I'm picturing her ass painted up. <laughs> with some diamonds in the back there, but I don't know if she's meaning that literally. Sweet just like candy. Sweet, sweet. You'll have to help me. <laughs> Take just like candy. Handle me. Come on. Sweet just like candy. Sweet, sweet. Take just like candy. If you let me take them, you might never get them back. That beat is so like... 2007-ish. Some Bobby Valentino <laughs> shit. Come on. 
another fun track candy paint that was cool there's not much to say i need a little bit of help deciphering some of the things she meant unless they were just literal and maybe i had the right images in my mind but uh yeah it was a good song it had that like 2007 ish 2008 kind of production on it and when i think of like bobby valentino and Ludacris and others for some reason it just the, the, there's almost like a chimey a chimey production on there or beat it was pretty cool all right next song is grip i have a feeling <laughs> this is going to be about something and here is the idol with kung fu She's only five four. Pretty and I got some bad bitches with me, with me. I get what I want, gimme, gimme. Pretty face, thick thighs and my hips don't lie. Where I got you hypnotized, feel like picky, picky. Hey, let's go. Oh, you can't deny it all. I see in your eyes, you love the view that I provide for you. How you want it, baby? How you want it, love? Sheesh. Okay, she is just sexual. This album is very sexual. It's very much, I mean, you know, sex sells, but she's probably, she's just in that, that era where that's what she wants to sing about. That's what she wants to, you know, uh, get out of her and talk about how she's an individual and whatnot. I mean, she was in Fifth Harmony for so long. They didn't really talk too much about that stuff. A lot of it was like that bubblegum pop kind of thing that those groups just kind of stick to the blueprint. But 5'4", I didn't know Normani was 5'4". That's a great height. <laughs> um, come through grip when you slide in it, but you know that. She is seriously hollering, but I don't doubt her. I, I just I just know. I know it's probably like that. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> She's so hot, man. I got some bad bitches with me, with me. I get what I want. Give me, give me. Pretty face, thick thighs, and my hips don't lie. Where I got you. No, they don't. They like picky, picky. This sounds very slimmer, similar to the first song. Blicky. Blicky, blicky, blicky. I said, come through and slide your legs. Need you to ride your legs. Need you to ride your legs. This is how you want to know. Sexy. It's a fun song. Hey. Lyrics are done, but this is only halfway through the song. Oh, never mind. I guess Spotify was just tripping. Okay, so that was cool. It was like uh, just a little interlude kind of thing. Um, fun, sexy, of course. Normani just bringing that heat. She's bringing fire to this album, and I, I, I love it. So it's been really cool so far. The next track is featuring Gunna, the feature king. I swear, he's been on so many tracks the past few years. The dude is just like, he's a G. <laughs> what else can I say? All right, let's go. This is 159 featuring Gunna. Turn me up. Ooh. That sounds like a Justin Timberlake song. Alone. Boy, what you gonna do with it? Don't talk to my 
What you gonna do? Tell me in the comments, what you gonna do if Normani gets you alone in the room? Come on, come on, what you gonna, are you gonna step up? Are you gonna back out? Come on, Juke James fam, I know you're not gonna back out. I know we're gonna ride. <laughs> Get you alone. I know I sure the hell would. Don't talk too much, just do this shit. Sing, come on. Love it. Gonna. I love the way Gunna just slides on a beat, man. He's so smooth. Yeah, I'm here to pay. Come on. Yeah, I really like that echo there from from Gunna on, on echoing what Normani's singing. I love that. That sound really crispy. This production, this beat, it sounds like it's from a Justin Timberlake song, but I can't figure out what it is. Might be from someone else. What you gonna do with it? Text me where you at, let me know you back, hits me every time. No one let her do things my way, baby, and you let me every time. Spend a long time trying to get away, baby, but you catch me every time. When you text me where you at, let me know you back, hits me every time. I get you alone. What you gonna do? Don't talk too much, just do the shit. R&B, man. I love it. I honestly didn't know like what route she was going to go. I wasn't sure if she was going to go with pop or with uh, a little more hip-hop, but I'm so happy she went with going more R&B for this album. I love R&B, and I think... I think there is like a window missing in the market for R&B. I think we're getting a lot of pop this year, which is great. We're getting some of the best music we've gotten in a long time. Like these, especially the girls, man, the women are, are putting out Dua, Billy, Sabrina, Tyla, uh, Beyonce. Everyone is just really putting out, Ariana Grande are putting out bangers after bangers. And I'm really enjoying it, but we needed this R&B. We need this R&B, and I am loving it. It's hitting my soul. I can. I'm. I'm someone that just has lived on R&B my entire life. It's something I got from my mom. My mom would always listen to. Like I was raised on 8701, and then uh, or before that, My Way, and, and then when Confessions came out, I got that from my mom for uh, Mother's Day. Like it's just like Usher, and before that, even with like Luther Vandross and Michael Jackson and Janet. Like, I was just raised on R&B, especially on my, when I would go to my mom's house, and that's what I really, really, really enjoy. I, I love all music, but I just had this, for whatever reason, there's a special place of R&B in my heart. I can work out to it. I can run to it. I can take a shower to it. I can chill to it. It's just, it's, it's always my bread and butter. Whenever I need to listen to something, R&B is that thing. Like, and we're getting a lot of good stuff too, but I wish like people like Bryson Tiller, please come back. I need more Bryson Tiller. But um, Normani, this album's killing it. I really enjoy it. I think it's great. So she's, she's it's for her debut album especially too. Like she's gonna be experimental. She's gonna try to find her sound. And I think, I think she's doing a great job. And I think the production's really helping that as well. But then having like a feature like Gunna on a track like that, that just sounded so cool. The next song is Distance. 
Business Boy and Triangle Park are the producers. That's one of the sexiest album covers I've seen too. Like my goodness. I appreciate her vulnerability on this album so far too. Like we've gotten a few tracks where she's just really being real. She's she's putting out like genuine thoughts, um, what she's she's probably gone through. There's just I love to hear when something just seems real, and you can hear it in her voice. You can hear the emotion while she when she's singing the track. And uh, for those that have, that have been on this channel, that have been subscribed to me for a while, that that watch some of my album and video reactions, like you know that I can really appreciate someone when they're really singing from their heart, because you can hear it, you can feel it. it. It it really stands out on tracks, and you can hear it in this song. She's not just singing. Sing it, baby, come on. Classic case. That note she hit on the I need to love you from a distance, that sounded so great. Again, we're getting like glimpses of her true talent. This is great, come on. I hope we don't have to wait as long as we did for this album for the next album because the shit slaps, man. Normani, you were killing it. I'm loving it. I'm so happy for her. I've, I've been wanting this. I've been wanting to hear her just like really dive into an album, dive into a creative piece and just hear what's going on in her mind. She's had, she's had to have so many stories to tell us from her experiences. I mean, she's been in the limelight now for what, 12 years? Wasn't that X Factor season in 2012? Maybe it was 13 or 14, but I could have sworn it was 2012. So 12 years, she grew up in front of us. Like she had to have plenty of experiences, plenty of stuff to write about. I'm sure she has hundreds if not thousands of songs that she's written that, that, that got like erased from this album and maybe we'll see down the road or maybe not. But I'm just really excited for her that she finally got her album out and I hope we don't have to wait this long for the next one but if we have to to get a great album like this then it is what it is right all right next song is tantrums featuring James Blake James Blake is somebody that I'd like to get into more too so if you guys have any recommendations of James Blake let me know in the comments because stuff I heard from him I do like a lot <laughs> I 
a drop on you, took a minute, but it's hard trying not to look back when you're in it. Never thought you'd do me like that, but you did it, so it's hard trying not to run back when you finish. Don't you know that? Huh. Don't you know that? Huh. All that shit you do to me gon' find its way back. Yeah, little karma. Huh. Don't you throw that? And just like a baby with your grown ass. Huh. Don't you know that? Nobody or just somebody I used to know You're somebody I should've taken the time to call You're nobody or just somebody I used to fuck from time to time Damn it's all right, you Sounds like a toxic relationship she's describing You're nobody or just somebody I used to know You're somebody I should've taken the time to call You're nobody or just somebody I used to fuck from time to time So it's like going back and forth, back and forth I hate games, man. Shit is so lame. Song's very dark. It was what you said it was, what you said it would be. You'd have held on to me. I know you'd have held on to me. Let's go. Evidence, evidence, evidence. I, I can only see it grow for a while. Lies on lies on lies on lies. Hey, James Blake add that haunting kind of feeling to it, that haunting dimension to it. This dude, his voice is so dope, man. I really need to listen to more of his stuff, so please request some stuff in the comments so I know what I should jump on to. Great control, Normani. Hey, nice song. Okay, so we got to kind of see the emotions of going through a toxic relationship. Like, if it's really, really dark, really haunting. James Blake's voice is just very haunting on this track. I liked it. The production's very dark and, and, and like, um, just, just, just building suspense, building building this aura of just like, I don't know, kind of just negativity in a way. I hate, like personally, I can't stand when people play games. That shit is like immature and corny. Like, what are you doing? You're only gonna screw yourself in the end most of the time. Um, also, I just like that she got smart, got out of this relationship. Like, it's a cool, full story in this song and uh, another good song. This album is great, I'm telling you guys. I'm really enjoying it. The next track is called Little Secrets. Lego. Anton Gordonson. Yeah, the other one that made me dance. But I don't want it, she can have it. I can't miss it if I already had it. Yeah, she been talking down. Baby girl, you don't want to study. Hey. How's that my fingers make it happen? I can have it if I won't like it's magic. Okay, hollering again. Let me up, 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 let me up
Come on. Okay, so these tracks, again, with this Anton Gordonson guy, it sounds very experimental. It has a little bit more pop than R&B in it, a little more, um, like, uh, EDM-ish, I guess. I don't know what the right genre is I'm thinking of, but, yeah. She's bringing some stuff back in from other tracks, too, the mm na mm -mas. Um Up at the top here, she says something about, but I can get it if I want it, automatic. Uh, okay, let's keep going. about that fist of cuffs. <laughs> okay. Okay. The beats fire. All right, so this song is probably the least uh, relevant to me. I feel like I'm not going to be like this type of person, but the beat's dope. I love her voice sounds cool on it. Uh, the lyrics, though, not really, not really resonating with me, and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Little bit of guitar. <laughs> Okay, that might have been the first track that didn't really hit that well for me. I thought the production was fun, it was experimental, the guitar solo there at the end was cool, but the lyrics just didn't resonate with me, and that's fine. But she sounds great again on it. I'm loving her voice on this entire album. She just it's it's very smooth, it's very it's very good. So it's it's been a great album. I'm <laughs> I'm really excited about it. The next track, though, is one I've heard. Um, it's one that's actually blocked on my uh, YouTube right now. Maybe it's premiered already by the time this, uh, this album reaction is up, but Wild Side featuring Cardi B. Let's go. I'm surprised this made it, too, because this song is like almost two years old, I'm pretty sure. But let's go. Ended on a bang, right, Normani? Because we know this song is great. Trip, trip, trip. 
when you slide in. Bip, 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 baby, ride in. Don't hesitate when you. Ooh, song is so sexy. Making up a cake for you. Sweet baby, like it when you bite it. We can't just keep talking about it. We think too often about it. We can't just be cautious about it. I wanna get wild. Take me for a ride, boy. Show me your outside. Yeah. I think this is where she really excels at the sexiness, the 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 just pure R and B. I think she really excels with this, and her voice sounds like like she's made to sing these kind of songs. I'm not trying to put her in a box whatsoever, but. Uh, Normani, R&B is your thing, girl. You are, are you're gonna be great in it. I promise you. You like this song right here is fantastic. Ooh, it's a, it, it's a hit. Down mm. on the kitchen floor, right on that towel. It's my dick, and I want it now. Ow. <laughs> yes, I love that lyric. It always gets me. It's that it's my money, and I want it now. <laughs> you want it? Put me on my back, on my stomach. Baby, let me blow it like a trumpet. I could do it all. I could probably so vivid. It a straw. Believe me, every other day, new wig, new hair. Come take me out this smooth glare. I be waiting on you with some long jerage at this pussy down low, like bombs. Hey. Nothing but a robe in your house. I wanna put these pretty pink toes in your mouth. Send news to your phone while you're working. Boy, you gotta see this shit in person. Believe me. We can't just be talking about it. Cardi B is so fun, man. She is just so like right up in your face. Wet ass pussy, whatever it may be, it just it smacks you in the face. There's not much innuendo to it. It's just like like she said, I can probably suck a watermelon through a straw. Come on. That is just like straight up vivid imagery. Love her for it. I love that. That run by her, the ooh yeah, is so damn good. That's probably my favorite part of the song. Oh! Sounds so damn good. What an album. Great job, Normani. Let's go. Come on. I'm giving her a standing ovation. That was fun. That was sexy. That was hot. We had some meaning in it, some relevance, some, some things that like really resonated with me at least. Like fantastic man i really enjoyed that i i can't I, we waited so long for for a normani album to come out and she served us the production on this album was fantastic um it was so smooth it was raw it was sexy her voice i like that we got to hear her voice like really stand out on some of these tracks especially like wild side there the ooh yeah at the end there that's why i, I want to hear a little more of that it's so raw and it's so um just different so it's very unique to her and uh i i just i love normani so of course i want to hear more of that but so i did save a song Take My Time, I think that was also produced by that Anton Gorenson guy. It made me get up and dance, it made me move, but 
I think that I think I'm gonna be at the end of the day, at the end of like when I'm done, I'm gonna be listening to this album a few more times. So I know that just like there's gonna be more songs that I'm gonna save to my Spotify, to my library, and I'm gonna be jamming to Normani. Um, I hope we get a little deluxe, you know? This is only 40 minutes long. I hope we get a deluxe because we waited so long for her to drop something. I do hope we get a couple extra songs just to kind of show us, like, the, and solidify, like, she is that girl. Because in my mind right now, after listening to this, it's solidified that she is that superstar talent. She's going to get better and better and better. I'm not sure how old Normani is. Let me see. Normani is she's only 28 years old so she's very young she has a long way to go um i think we're gonna be listening to her for a long time i think she's got it all she's got the moves the looks the voice everything and um i think if uh she works on her lyrics in some of these songs and kind of tightens them up a little bit maybe gets rid of a little bit of the filler like the one song, I think it might have been still, where it's like the mm mm. I, I think I'm, that's gonna either grow on me or I'm just not gonna like it, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, let me know what you think, though. Did you, did this album, like, was it everything you were waiting for? Did she serve? Did she not serve? Did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and click that bell icon so you uh, get all notifications whenever I upload something. And, um, also, if you want, I have a Patreon. It's the best way to support the channel. It's ad-free. There's no, uh, there's barely any editing. You know, maybe I have a goof here and there that I have to cut out. But other than that, it's ad-free, no editing, and um, it's it's a good way to support the channel and keep this going. So I can keep doing this. I'm having a hell of a time with you guys, my Juke James fam. But so let me know in the comments what's your favorite song. Did Normani kill it? Did you want a little bit more from her? Are you expecting visuals? Let me know. Let's get this conversation started.